The Hazard Bulldogs entered the 1986 Sweet 16 with a 32 and 1 record and returned home two wins shy of their goal of winning a state title. And the story is not that they lost in the state semifinals, but more so of how they lost. Facing a Pleasure Ridge Park team that was 35 and 2 and ranked in the top 5 nationally, the Bulldogs showed they were not afraid of the Panthers, going toe to toe with the big city team for 32 minutes. And we had no fear. And a uh, couple bounces here and there and a call maybe, then uh, we had a chance to play Saturday night for it all. But the final 60 seconds is what people would be talking about even 30 years later. Those two calls toward the end had done us in. Hazard trailed by just two and looked as though it would make a run until a couple of calls began to go the way of PRP. First, a breakaway layup attempt by Willie Combs that was blocked that head coach Roy McCamey pleaded should have included a foul. Then another Panther block on what appeared to be a sure two points for Dwayne Cornett. And like any good team, PRP converted the opportunity into points. But even then, Hazard was still able to tie the game with 30 seconds to play until it was on the losing end of yet another close call, the third in the final minute, when Todd Blanton was ruled to have touched the ball going out of bounds. I've watched the film 500 times, and, uh, and I've watched it with officials, and everybody says it's a foul. Well, those two possessions would have been a four to six point swing toward airway. Derek Wilcox then gave the Panthers the lead for good on the ensuing possession, and Pleasure Ridge Park advanced to play for a state championship 56-54, leaving the Bulldogs and their fans feeling not defeated, but cheated.